The bystander effect. What would you do? What is the bystander effect? The bystander effect is a social psychological phenomenon which refers to cases in which individuals do not offer any means of help to a victim when other people are present. What happens in our brains? Current research suggests that the brain considers various sources of information before making a decision. By dissecting the organization of the brain, we can see the mechanisms that occur during decision making. The outer part of the brain is known as the cortex, which is identified by its wrinkly texture. This is the largest part of the brain and it is associated with higher order functions such as decision making and thought processing. The cortex is divided into four sections called lobes. One of these lobes is the parietal, which helps with movement, orientation, and recognition of stimuli. The occipital is responsible for visual processing, and the temporal is associated with memory, speech, and recognition of auditory stimuli. The frontal lobe is correlated with reasoning, emotions, and problem solving. While the parietal, occipital, and temporal lobes are needed for assessing information, the frontal lobe is the most important for decision making. By delving deeper into the frontal lobe, we notice another important region involved in decision making. This section is known as the prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex is involved in several unique executive functions, such as paying attention, assessing consequences, and observing social norms. There are two different networks in the prefrontal cortex that are involved in assessing the information we perceive in order to ultimately reach a decision. One network involves the ventromedial prefrontal cortex, which evaluates risk and reward as a part of a neural network that also includes the orbitrofrontal and frontopolar cortex. The second network consists of the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, forming a network with the anterior cingulate cortex. Together, this network determines how you react based on your decision. When the bystander effect occurs, each individual uses their parietal, occipital, and temporal lobe to process their surroundings. Based on this information, the prefrontal cortex within the frontal lobe assesses the presence of other people. Then, the two networks within the prefrontal cortex interact to determine that another individual will help. So why study the bystander effect? On March 13, 1964, Kitty Genovese was being chased by Winston Mosley near her apartment complex. She was brutally stabbed by Mosley. After fatally crying for help, she was murdered. Nearly a dozen of her neighbors watched and did nothing for 30 minutes after she died, until somebody finally called the police. This case caught the attention of psychologists John Darley and Bib Latain, they both came up with an experiment to test what they coined the bystander effect. They decided to recruit college students into social experiments where they were placed into one of three groups talking to an individual who needs help. In group one, one student was placed in a room alone talking to another student they couldn't see and who needed help. In group two, two students were placed in a separate room talking to another student they also couldn't see who needed help. In group three, three students were placed into a similar situation. John and Bibb measured how often the college students got help for the individual in need. They found that as the group of individuals increased, the chance of the victim receiving help decreases. Now knowing this information, what would you do?